North Dakota State. Here's another one of their absolutely talented roster uh, wrestlers on their roster in Henningsen. Now we, there was a little bit of a debate about who might go here today at 133. We talked to the coach before the match, and they're deciding to give uh, Henningsen the, the opportunity here. Yeah, and they're not going to tip off why. You know, the right. other guy could be injured. They don't want everybody knowing it. But Ryan Henningsen is your man against another very hard-working wrestler, Jace Colzer. Jace Colzer, the redshirt senior. A tech fall domination versus Central Michigan to start the season. Northern Colorado transfer. Last year competed as the eighth seed in the Big 12 championship, was wrestling at 133. Last year, Coach, was the first time that Jace had wrestled at 133 in his career. Yeah, he's a left leg lead. He singles left, likes to tap the head and go. He goes forward as well. Good stance, good position. It's pretty, pretty wild in the first match we had. Coach Kish talking about how he wants his guys to score early, be aggressive early. And now even in the second match very early, not that we're lacking the aggressiveness, but just unable to put a point on the board. Well, we did get a point on the board in the first one, but it was not off an attack. That's it was right. stalling. Stalling. And we'll take those. He's in on a good single, has it up in the air. Deep step, run the pipe. And move your opponent when you're there. Foot block, run the pipe. There it goes. There you go. Do it again. Put a couple of those together. Hennigson. What do you do here, Coach, when well, you've got your... <laughs> interestingly enough, when the guy's... There you go. That's what you do. Kick the other leg out. When, you, when a guy has that wrist, what Michael Leitner used to do as a freshman, because he wasn't powerful, guys would kick that leg back and then use it as an opportunity to duck the wrist side. Uh. Nice, tough ride by Colzer. Mentioned the Northern Colorado transfer. Was sixth at the Big 12 championships last year after heading in as the eighth seed. Wrestled for the great Troy Nickerson, fellow New Yorker. Uh-huh. NCAA champion at Cornell. That's a tough ride right there. Make that opponent work. Grinding. He's got the right arm. Very much in the offensive. Well, Staz, about a minute of advantage time now, Coach. There it is, over a minute. And you take a lot out of your opponent when he's down there underneath the tough ride. Three zip, great start for Kelzer here. Here's the takedown. Press it. Okay, got a single leg high, clubs the head as he sweeps the leg. Well done. Nice claw ride right there. Takes that leg out. You can't hang with the lace, but he's just doing it to bump a man off his base. What a first period for Kelzer. Coach, he's up three zip. Well, and here's the deal. Once again, we haven't done a ton of attacks, but we're the team that's taking control. Our guys are coming out ready, and they're coming out fast. Ooh. Good balance. Yep. Breaks free. If you make the opponent work hard enough from behind standing, most guys will just let you go, and that's exactly what he did. 4 nothing now. Keep get, oh, nice elbow pass by to a single on the opposite side. Get your opponent bouncing there and then kick it when it's up in the air. Coach Kish, I was watching him on the sidelines. He had the right leg out. See if he can do it again. Coach Kish could take him down. <laughs> nice. Boom. I mean, what a dominating performance here so far. And the job that Jace has done is impressive. And what's interesting about this is 
who are the first two guys we put on the mat? They're guys that were not part of our program. Mm -hmm. Coach Kish got the job late, but he's done a great job attracting talent. There he is. First home meet for Roger Kish. Well, he looks like he could go out there and take care of business, doesn't he? <laughs> There's a little Clark Kent in him now, but take those glasses off. A little blood. Athletic trainer takes care of that. So delay for that. This has been an impressive showing so far for Jace Kelzer, hasn't it? No, absolutely. Both guys have taken control of their match. Takes us back to that keys that you talked about. Yeah. He wants his guys attacking early. <laughs> Coach Kish stepped on the mat. The official's like, hold on. <laughs> and he's like, whoops, sorry. <laughs> Everything is cleaned up. Inningsen will be, Ryan Hinton will be on the bottom. Nice Kelzer in the bump. final one I'm minute. Sorry. I was just saying, nice bump right off the whistle. You know, don't allow the guy to make the move. You move him. I'm not so sure he didn't let him up there. 7-1 advantage now. Yeah, he's going to look for a major decision. Nice knee pry. Couldn't get his arm out to spin behind. Look for a moment, he might have had him in position for a pin opportunity. He's got that right arm, he's working it while you don't want that arm to get too long, though. Short arms, short arms. Looking for a drag out here, it looks like you can drag out and come back for another knee pry. And in fact, you hear the North Dakota There's State the bench drag. drag out. Nice sweep. Got it again. Very impressive showing so far through two for the senior, the redshirt senior, Jace Kelzer. Here's a quick look, Coach, at the college wrestling for those that are new to the sport. The team scoring, win by fall, that's six points. A technical fall with a near fall, that's five. Technical fall without a near fall for the major decision is four, and like the Sooners got in the first match, we'll have the decision, which is three points. So that's how the coach is talking about the the potential major decision here. That's the seven if he can get up by seven. Right, and and the point on a tech fall is it used to be if you beat your guy by 15 points, you get five. But they want to see more turns, more looking for the pin. And so that's why they've added that you only get that five points if you put the guy on his back at least once. Just control. I mean, that's the word. Complete control here for Kels. Yep. He should, uh, well, he should really let his guy up. And there it is. Good call, Coach. So now it's 7-2, but it'll be 9-2 with riding time. That'll be a major. One more takedown. Seals it as long as you ride him. Nice stutter and then leg attack to the high crotch. Lift it up. Usually you post your hand when you lift it. It's easier to get your back up. That left hand, you just can stand him up. Dangerous here, though. Post your hands, scoot your knees under. And that clock's ticking away. He's probably going to do a stalemate pretty soon. Twenty seconds left in the match. Okay, now get height on that. Lift that up. Get your head into him. Well, Henningsen's done a good job defending this because that was a real nice sweep. There, it's, there it is. Can he get the pin? Can he get the pin? Just short of it. Just now, short of it. Still domination, Coach Spade. The question is, they did give the takedown then. Yes. Okay, good deal. Sometimes you can look for a fall. You can get a fall where you don't have control. 
challenge brick has been thrown. Roger Kish, he wants that majority decision here. Yes, and the question is, did he have control? He obviously had his opponent in danger, in danger of being pinned, but you can pin a guy from neutral position. What do you see? What do you I think? think? I think he's got control. That guy's fighting off his back. They should give, they should give a takedown there and back points. And it's interesting because I thought we were ahead six. Right. Was it six? It was. Uh, or seven two. That should be a three point takedown, and then at least two swipes. Right. Officials looking it over. Looks like, at least from our able to kind of spy a bit, they've got really good angles on this. Several different camera angles for them to look at. Well, and yes, and years ago when they made that change of video review, that is so important because it's so hard to make instantaneous calls and get them right. And you know it's hard because actually you and I can look at film in certain instances mm -hmm. and disagree while watching it on film, much less being able to make the right decision instantaneously on the map. I like in watching our referees how constant their communication has been, each pointing out something they see. Yes, and a good official wants the counsel of his mat judge. The best officials aren't insecure. <laughs> They've got the faith in the guy with them. But this is a rather lengthy review, too. Looks like they made their decision. They're heading over to talk to the official score. I'm saying takedown and backwards. Oh, they're going to say it's Stan. Oh, really? It's a 7-2 to two win. <laughs> I think that reaction from Coach Kish says it all. <laughs> but congratulations on the domination from Jace Kelzer. And that's what you need. Kelzer went over to try to shake hands. All right. And he gets a handshake from Coach. What a performance, Coach. And what a start for OU. Up six zip.